How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. That's going to take a minute to get used to. So we got rid of the, the, the what do we call it? Not the screener, not the streamer, not transition. the boat. The transition. There we go. There's, there's a technical word they use in one of the apps. Uh, but I'm Will. I'm Adri. We hadn't even gotten to that. <laughs> that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. Just the thing at the beginning. So it starts right away now. Um, I think you can do just in between certain part. I'll have to look that up. But what are we playing today? We are playing. <laughs> Here, do you, want the, do you want the book? Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Ma Go. Mayhem. 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 So, of course, earlier in the week, we did play the Looney Tunes Mayhem. We're going to play the Teen Titans Go Mayhem, which plays a little bit different than Looney Tunes. Um, and then on Saturday, Saturday, yeah, Saturday, we're going to play Looney Tunes versus Teen Titans. It's a Saturday. We can stay up a little bit later, you know, past our bedtime. Uh, so we may do one of each because you can only play one version of the game. So if we play on the Looney Tunes map, we have to play the Looney Tunes version of the game. Oh. If we play on the Teen Titans map, we have to play on the Teen Titans version of the game. So we might do one of each. Um, that way we can just do the mash up with both of them. Um, really, it's just to see the different character, I'm throwing books around, different characters playing against each other, just for fun more than anything. All right, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and flip over. I'll do a rundown of this game pretty much from the beginning, just in case you didn't watch the Looney Tunes, because there are some slight differences. Uh, and then we'll get into drafting the characters and uh, see who comes out victorious. If you wanna see who came out victorious in the other one, you need to go back and watch the other video. Uh, what am I doing? I'm clicking here. There we go. So look, see, that's much quicker. It's like, tch, there you go. And that way also when I'm talking, it doesn't cut me out like it used to. Um, sources, scene transitions. Okay. So we are set up for a two-player game of Teen Titans Go Mayhem. And why is that? Because there are two players Because in there are two game. players in this game. Although it can be up to four players. However, I don't think it would be fun at four players. But that's just me. I don't want to have to control my characters with somebody else. Um, so the way this works is we are each going to draft two characters to be on our teams. Um, the characters are going to have some type of abilities and whatnot. So let me get one of these little uh, player cards. We'll go here with um, Beast Boy. Now these are only one-sided. Uh, Looney Tunes are two-sided, but uh, Teen Titans are only one-sided. We're both going to have two members on our team. They each have a default ability. They have a basic ability and an advanced ability. On the Looney Tunes, this advanced ability changes. Uh, hit points, number of cards that we can hold, and so forth. Uh, we're going to go around, and the objective of Teen Titans Go is to get five victory points. So no different than Looney Tunes there. However, how you get them uh, is two ways. One is by knocking out your opponent. The other is by completing these... Uh, mission cards, so of course, we're Teen Titans, so we need to go on missions to save the day, deliver pizza, or just beat up our friends. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what we have to do, right? Because we can play good guys versus bad guys. Uh, so we're trying to complete the missions. So basically, the first one to complete five missions is going to win the game. However, some of the missions do say to knock out an opponent, so you could technically get two victory points there, or maybe you complete three missions and we get two victory points through knockouts, whatever. Uh, on your turn, you get to make a movement, so you can move into an adjacent zone. And then you get to uh, activate your abilities. So we saw those abilities on the card, uh, and that is done through the dice that we roll at the beginning of the game, or the beginning of each round. Uh, there are three total dice. There are the dice we have to assign, and then there is this mayhem dice that whoever has the initiative, basically whoever rolls lower, which we got wrong on Looney Tunes, but corrected eventually, uh, gets to... Uh, roll. This is the amount of damage we'll do if we decide to attack each other. And this star just means that you can activate certain abilities. Certain characters will have certain abilities. Like here, Beast Boy's star power lets him uh, change his forms because, well, he's Beast Boy and all. Uh, certain other things like uh, the special cards may react off of those. Uh, these are one time per round use abilities. So a round consists of you moving both of your characters. So you got to be wise of when you want to use uh, your cards, um, and wash, rinse, and repeat. We do have like barriers and shields and other presents. things that you can do. Presents, yeah, we have presents because uh, there's one of the quests I think is to deliver presents to people. Uh, but that I think is pretty much it. So normally we would roll to see who the first player is, but that is not how it works in Teen Titans Go. Um, 
we, we, we use the initiative die. So what do we normally roll? We normally roll the 20 sided extra life die because we support Children's Miracle Network through donations. And you can also donate to help Los Niños. What? No, the link down below. <laughs> but, but I'm pointing uh, using in, the but link I'm pointing down into, below. <laughs> but I'm pointing inside the, the, the extra life tray. So we did get this for Tabletop Weekend this year. Uh, I did order the die. They're finally shipping. It was like three weeks later and I sent them an email. I'm like, where, where are our dice? I ordered two packs of die so we can use those. But only one of them says extra life. I think it's the D20, but we can use them for games where we can only have to roll down dice. Now we'll have some dice, some pretty blue extra life die. Oh, we're wearing our extra life shirts today because we need to actually finally do our giveaway announcements, uh, which we'll do in a separate video. So of course we'll upload that. Um, so yeah, no rolling of this. Um, this just kind of hangs out here because it is the star of the show. All right, so we do need to roll to see who has initiative, to see who gets to draft characters first um, and which one of us gets to, of course, move first. So I got a very good roll. I got 11. So you definitely got initiative. So you got oh, see, seven start. and then you roll uh, that guy. Okay. The attack die. Ooh, three with a star right off the bat. All right, so we have lots of characters to choose from. So Audrey, I got I to gotta make sure I get them out there quick enough for her for not to, uh, she doesn't know the character. So it's not as easy. This one looks Looney familiar. Looney Tune, she was like, this one in this one. <laughs> she was like, all right, so you got Cyborg, you got Raven, you got Robin, you got Robin. Starfire, you got Nightwing, which is Robin when he's older. You have, uh, what's her sister's name? Um, Blackfire. Um, you have Slade Wilson. You have, these are all Beast Boy. These four go with Beast Boy. Um, you have the bad guy, Trigon. This is Raven's dad. And then you have the two guys, the two other guys here. The girl, um, I haven't seen him so long. Mammoth. And then she, her name is Jinx. This one? Yeah, her name's Jinx. Yeah, I like the Pokemon. Little... Raven? Raven. Okay. And I know everybody probably wants to see how Beast Boy works, so of course I will do Beast Boy for everybody. I get, I get, I get extras. And Beast Boy. And then I don't do all the people from the core box. I'll do Jinx. Oh, I did two from the core box. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do Jinx. I'll do Jinx. We have plenty, plenty more characters, which means plenty more videos, and maybe people, people can leave comments what they, uh, which characters they would like to see us play next. This is my extra rules for Beast Boy. All right, so we need to put our our thingies on the on their feet. <laughs> Bella, sweetie, you can't nest in the carpet, sweetie. You're Please. doing it again. Come here. Come lay down on your bed. There you go. Lay down there. There. There you go. Good girl, sweetie. <laughs> She's trying to nest and she's she hit the the light over there. I don't know if it made a difference on the screen or not. All right, so there is my layer board. And then I have these three for when I transform. Trigon and Jinx. And then Raven and Robin. All right, so let's go. We will go over our abilities. We gotta put our little thingies on our feet though. Everybody gets their thingies on their feet. Thing is, I'm gonna have to keep taking the thingies off the feet and back on the feet for the, uh, look how the big he is. <laughs> so this is a normal, normal character. <laughs> That's <laughs> this boy's dinosaur. He's huge. He is grande. That's grande. Um, so I guess I'll go first because I gotta go over Beast Boy and how he's different. So Beast Boy, uh, he has extreme laziness. So what that does is that allows him to get a flea token, which allows me to run away when Oddity moves. Um, I have artistic skill. Oh no, I'm sorry. My bonus is I get to move. Bye, Beezies. Okay. Um, I get to move if I have a six or higher. Uh, my, my artistic skill, I get to deal one damage to a character uh, in Beast Boy's location. If I have a two or higher, this has to be a six. Wow. If I have a two or higher, I can move um, this die to Beast Boy's other ability and activate it. 
So basically, if I have the low number, I go here, and then I can move it up to here, and then I get this. But I still don't get this unless I put a six here, and then I can actually move it up to here and do both. So, not bad. Uh, and then my animal shape-shifting form, Beast Boy changes to his form when there is a star um, on the Mayhem die. And if it isn't a star, I immediately change back down. So there's really no reason for me to be Beast Boy right now because we got a star right off the bat. So I can either be the T-Rex, who gives me melee attack, uh, and it takes up the whole square, and I can't move into a square with somebody else. So it means I actually do melee attack into an adjacent square, but that does also mean that everybody else can melee attack me mm -hmm. in an adjacent square too. Uh, for three plus, I do four damage, uh, each opposing character um, on the map. Um, gorilla, I do damage, and then I can do plus two damage, heal two, and he ignores stun. Uh, Cheetah, I get to teleport anywhere without other characters. Uh, and then I can do damage, plus two damage, and I'm immune to traps. I don't know what I want to be right off the bat because I don't have a quest yet. Um, I'll do T-Rex just because I can. So this replaces my extreme laziness. And I'll snap on the, the base for my T-Rex. So I will start with T-Rex. All right. Uh, and then Jinx, she has a hand size of three instead of two like Beast Boy. Uh, Psychokinesis, uh, she can do a ranged attack. Uh, she can also move any character with her special ability, five plus. And if there's a star, uh, I can move any token on the map instead. Okay, so I can either move a character, but if it's a star parent, I can actually move one of the tokens, which can make it easier for me to complete my quests. Uh, weird luck, uh, place or move an obstacle. Um, and then three plus, I can flip an opponent's die to its opposite side. Ooh, so like a five turns into a two, a six turns Ooh. into a one. Ooh, that's good. I like Jinx. You should have taken her. You were, you were looking at her and you're like, oh, she looks cool. Uh, probability manipulation. I guess it's kind of fair. Neither one of us knew what either one of them did. So we were, we were drawing blind. Uh, with a, so if there's a star in play, which there is, uh, once per turn, I can flip one of my die to its opposite side. So I can kind of do the same thing. I can take my low numbers and flip them to higher numbers. So that is Jinx and Beast Boy. And Audrey's playing Robin and Raven. Robin staff meeting. So staff meeting has the same attack. And five plus gives me two damage. And with the star stun target. Uh stun target. So what when I stun You stun me and stun we didn't stun when we played Looney Tunes, but it basically yeah. prevents me from doing something. When you do it, okay, stun tokens. Character is stunned, place and stun token on the character's dashboard. During their oh, next turn, yep, a stunned character can either use their free move or activate one of their abilities, but can't do both. Yeah, so basically, if you get stunned after the fact, then you can't use your ability, even though you used your move. Um, and even if they don't use an ability, you still have to place your activation die and then discard the stun token in your turn. So it basically prevents you from doing both. You can't do both a move and a um, ability on the same turn. Um, hero reflexes. Add two to your other die. Whoa, that's not bad. No. Oh, that's just so my that's just... other die. So, so the one? die that you're going to assign to Raven. So oh. You can increase Raven's die by two because he's he's the leader. Okay, let's see if that is good. And then three plus is flea, flea token or, or the shield? defense. Yeah, two two defense. Okay, and Raven has. It says leadership. Oh, sorry, leadership. Robin may give up his free move to move his teammate. Oh, so you can move your teammate instead. Oh. So that actually could come in handy. Say you have a delivery quest, you could just keep moving your other character instead of, you know, why move Robin? I'll just keep moving Raven to the delivery point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raven. So his ability, dark her. magic. I'm sorry, her. I know. She's, her wearing, she's wearing a little, little, little uh, what is that called? A tutu? No, tutu is the thing that goes around I it. What's the, what this is. what's the, the underwear bathing suit thing called of a, a bad, ballerina? Body, we call it a body, body suit. Body suit, see. Body suit. I think it has a technical name for ballerinas. Um, 
her ability, dark magic. Raven teleports to another location instead of her free move. So you can move <gasps> anywhere, basically. As long as there's nobody else, she can just move everywhere. Oh, you've got a lot of movement. You better not get delivery quests. Or, I... or the investigation quest, because the investigation quest, you just have to go around to the three. Mm -hmm. hmm. Telekinesis. Did I say right? Telekinesis. Telekinesis. English is very difficult. Telekinesis. Sounds better. Um, <laughs> range. Range. And five classes with a star move an adjacent character to another location adjacent to them. So basically, you it says another character. another character. So that could be your character or my character. That's anybody. Just Ch adjacent. Character is just a character on the board. So you can you can move me wherever you want, or you can move you where. So say I'm getting real close to finishing turning in a quest, you can just move me away. Or say you're real close to turning in a quest, you can move. Probably. And spell book, trap two. So you get two okay. traps. Uh, that means you you put down two traps adjacent to you in two adjacent spots. Traps we didn't get to use those last time either. No. Uh, characters trap token or adjacent. Um, the chosen location must not contain an opposing character. Or, or any friendly traps. Traps have no effect on characters in the same team. Character enters the location with the trap. Uh, they receive damage equal to the amount of the opposing trap in the location. Once the trap activates, remove all opposing tracks from that location and place them back in the pool. So basically you do you do damage based on whatever the die, whatever the mayhem die is. And then five or more, place or move an obstacle. So you just move obstacles. So kind of similar to what her, her basic move is. All right, so you have the initiative. So Audrey has the initiative, so that means she gets to place her character first. Oh, forgot to do one thing. We got to... Draw. Well, we can... Yeah, we, we want to draw these. Uh, I can't remember if we draw the card or place our characters first. Uh, roll die. Roll mayhem die. Draw go cards. Return characters. So you draw your go cards before you place your characters. So that's uh, my card. Well, I guess since you have initiative, you should get drawn first. All right. So these are our quests. I don't know where we want. They can't really. We don't really have room to put them on the screen, so we'll just have to put them down next to us. So my mission, uh, when revealed, your opponent places or moves an obstacle and trap. So you get to place an obstacle and two traps somewhere on the anywhere on the board. And two traps anywhere? Yep. Oh. And then it says place Oh, well, my mission is to get both people there. That's my mission. I don't know if I should play it. Well, this is where I'm trying to get to. So these are my spots. So if you want to prevent me from getting down here, then your best bet's to block that off somehow. Because either way, this is going to be that. But see, I've got to kind of go around it. And you know I've got to go there, so you can't place it, I don't think, on my home. Mm. So that forces me to go that way. But your characters would be there. All right, and then yours. So we we cannot go in the trap. You going? can, I can't. If I go That's there, I take damage. Okay. All right. So what's mission? your what's your what's your mission? It says dark monster. When revealed, placed place this yep. token on the cinema. All right. Stun all characters in its um, in its and adjacent locations. Oh, so technically we should have the opposite one because I'm supposed so to do that. So anybody around it and What's on it, it stun all characters in its and adjacent in its and adjacent location. Well, there are no characters right now, so that didn't doesn't do anything. So you have to defeat him. He has. Also, five. this is just for right now. He has five hit points. Yeah. So I if see, we would have pulled this while we were already on the board, then we would have these other things would have happened, but. We're not on the board yet because that step hasn't occurred, right? Because we draw that card before we place them on the board, I think. Uh, hang on. Uh, 
randomly do the 10 tiles, shuffle the deck, take seven cards, shuffle the 12 go cards, get the deck, separate the tokens by type. Characters, go cards. Roll the initiative die, each player begins, roll the turn first player, roll mayhem die, which we did that, draw go cards, we did that. Uh, recovery, during this run of the game in case Uh, only during the first round of the game, um, players, yeah, the player with the initial places their characters on the map. So I don't know what step this is. A, A part one, I guess. Yeah, I'm guessing it's A part one. Hmm. So we'll say it's A part one which is before rolling the mayhem die, which is before drawing the go cards. All right, so we'll just, we'll say it's A part one, so we'll just put our characters out. So he takes both spots. Whoops, his boy stays here. She goes there. Wait, I didn't place mine. I just, yeah, you get, well, it's two spots. Oh, because, okay. And you only go to the, the white spots, yeah. All right, so now it says, we stun all characters in its and adjacent locations. So both of these are. <laughs> so so I did it. Stun why? for you. But. And a stun for me. <laughs> but why did we do it like that? We I, I then... don't remember where when we were supposed to place them. I was saying we placed mm. them as part of the recovery, but we're still doing setup. We're not doing recovery because it's not like we were knocked out. Do you want to play with adding the hearts or do you want to play with removing the hearts? I think removing them. You want to try removing, see if that works better. So when we played the Looney Tunes, for those that have not seen the Looney Tunes playthrough, um, Audrey found it weird that we were adding hearts instead of subtracting hearts. Because we did both things. <laughs> yeah, so 5, 10, 11. But the thing is that we would need, like, we would need to have, like, muchos Ten. ones. Well, the... The problem is you're actually one five short because we had to put one out here. So Raven's going to get five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, technically we have enough because we got plenty more hearts. I mean, technically you could do this. This, uh, and I mentioned this during our, our, our first impressions when, when I was talking about it. That's how you do Marvel United, right? Marvel United, we take the, the points off and if they heal, we just put them back on. So... This does make a little bit more sense to do it this way versus the other way. Yeah. Um, so there we go. So that is your mission. Uh, once you defeat him, you get five victory points. And once I get to... Five victory points or five, uh, five lives? I'm sorry. One victory point. He has five life. You have to beat him up for five life. All right. So you have initiative, so you get to go first. Except for with uh, Robin, because he's kind of stunned. Mm. So I move Uno first? Well, you have to assign your die remember. first. Yeah. Oh, uh, roll. Mm -mm, you already rolled. It was a two and a five, I think. <laughs> I think it was a two and a five. No, it was the six I got. Well, I have the six. Okay, I'm going to say two and a five. Um, stun target. Two. Yeah, stun. We're, we're, we're already stunned, and unfortunately that means we can't. What happens if we're stunned? Can can you do the activation? Oh, that's right. You can do one or the other. When we're stunned, we can either do our action or do our movement. Well, it's not going to change, sweetie. I don't know what you want, sweetie. Now you're panting. You wanted it under the blanket, but you're panting. I gotta figure out how to make her comfortable under the bed. Ooh, I just whacked the entire table. Um, yeah, so our stun characters can either move or use their ability. Well, no, you don't activate both. Whichever one you want to actually do, either move or ability. So this would be move, but he's stunned. So you can either move or do that other ability, which is add two to your other die. 
then add two to my other die. But it will not do anything. Well, then you can activate that. See, but I got a five for it. Well, but you had a five, so when you increase it, it would go to six. But not now. You just activate that, so you just change that to a six because you activated that. He can't move because he was stunned. So I removed his stun token. Well, technically, the stun token would have been on him. Or I guess we can use our own stun tokens. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we forgot to choose our, our cards, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should have seven, and then choose. No, oh, you, don't have to, you don't have to shuffle them. Oh. <laughs> you have to just choose. So I got five, and you have four. Maybe. Have a maybe pile and an oh, yes pile. I like that one. And I don't like that one. Oh, I like that one. This one. Mm, like that one. Mm, like that one. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go with these. these what five. is fire? I don't know what is fire. Fire. Fire basically is the same as poison. At the end of the turn, it does damage equal to the. Uh, mayhem die. All right. So I need to get all, I need to get both my characters down. Oh, wait a minute. I can't even do this quest right now. <clears throat> I can't even do this quest right now because both my characters can't stand in that spot. So I guess I'm just going to move that direction. Okay. Um... So I'm going to do the five here. So I'm going to move. Arr! They're boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm going to attack. So she takes one damage. And because I have the special ability, it's plus four so damage. So I can apply this? Yes, but you're still going to take the damage. So you're going to take five damage total. One plus four, because I put a three plus on there. You're not playing clean. <laughs> what do you mean you're not playing? Just give me the five. The cinco. Gracias. Gracias. And then, uh, but you do get a flea token. And you get a flea token. Everybody gets a flea token. You get a flea token. You get a flea token. Everybody and now I already token. used that and I don't get it back anymore. When you take damage, teleport. So you can teleport to any empty space. Although I don't know if that's considered empty anymore. See, there is nobody here. Just a monster. <laughs> yeah, I guess the monsters don't count. No, I don't, don't think... Know. No, I don't think objects count. I think when it says empty, it's empty of people, not empty of items. Because that kind of... If you can't teleport to your items, it makes the game go much slower. Because you'd have to... Well, yeah. It's your move, pull, where's teleport? Teleport. Place an active character in any spot on the board. When every character teleports, any opposing traps in the target's location immediately activate. This action is not considered a move and does not give characters the opportunity to use fleet. Okay, so you can go to any. It can be any space. So it doesn't even have to be an empty space. So, yep, so she goes there, right? So now it is Raven's turn. Oh, and you had a six. How did your dice keep getting flipped around? What did you... Oh, go move those ones. Raven's turn. Um, Raven's turn. You gonna pew pew me in the heinies? I think I should. Oh, well, well, no, actually, you needed to give it a. Actually, no, um, I did damage. Oh, I was supposed to do three damage. So I did seven total damage. I keep forgetting. It's This is the amount of damage you do. So no. Well, well if you do wanna, I have to, to get this five? Five? You have to beat him up first. So right now you can do three damage to him. Although range, can you use range in the same location? Does range have to be range? Because range has to be range, then you'd probably want to be there instead. Let's see here. It still oh. works. 
I, you're right. A gun can shoot somebody in the same square as they are, whether they're five feet away from them or ten feet away from them. Right in their face. Where was the attack? Don't they s attack? Um, where's the talk about ranged and melee? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shield tokens, tokens, more tokens. Recovery, KO. There you go, range deck. Uh, deal damage equal to the mayhem die to one opposing character in a location adjacent to the active. Uh, if there are no opposing characters in the adjacent location, it has no effect. So yeah, you need to be in an adjacent location. So you want to be there. Or here. You can be here. Robin. So now you can do the three damage to him. So that leaves him down to two. One, two. Um, but here, I still need to... Well, no, and then you can do your special ability. Move an adjacent character to another location adjacent to them. There's no adjacent characters, so... Nobody's adjacent to you because he's in the same yeah. square as you. I mean, if you wanted to move Robin, then you'd want to... Technically, you'd want to be there and then use that to move Robin here. So then... So but, then he can attack but he, him? But he has to move on his next turn. But he turn. can attack him and I still get... No, not on this turn. It'd be next turn, and on the next turn, you have to move first. Remember, you always have to move, then you can attack. So technically, moving Robin wouldn't do you any good. Okay. All right. Uh, Jinx's turn. Once per turn, flip the die. Oh, I don't want to flip my six to a one. Hmm... Do that. So I'm going to move her here. And then I'm going to do my range attack to Raven. So that's tres. Ready, night. Lo siento, what it does. Move any other character uh, or move any token on the map instead. So I'm going to move this. It doesn't affect you because it's your, it's your trap. Yep. But that means I can get down there and I get trapped now. All right. Circle board. Oh, no. I, wait a minute. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I couldn't do that because I forgot I had this. So I couldn't. I could either move or do my range attack. I couldn't do both. So technically, you're still alive. Because I can move. Oh, no, that's not smart. Then I can't get over there. Hang on. I don't want to do this. I want to move, which is fine. And then I can't do my... Oh, no, I can't do my ability at all if I move. So I actually want to do my ability. Move any other character or move an item instead. So I'm going to move the item instead. Um... I need to be able to get down here. So put it up there. And then I lose my stun token. Okay. So yeah, you're back with three hit points. Yay! Alright. Roll again. Alright, now we know. Now 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 we've now we've got it again. Now we're we're back on back in business. This should go quicker. So four and one. So you still have initiative. So roll the mayhem die. <laughs> oh, throw, ooh, lots of damage this round. But unfortunately, adios, beast boy. Shoo. He shrunk. Oh, so whenever there's him? no star, yep, whenever there's no star, um... he shrinks back down to his form. Then I have to get rid of that. Mm. So and he, is he also the monkey and the tiger? The yeah, monkey. Yeah, he can be any of these three, and they all have different abilities. Now, I have a card that allows me to... Uh, turn it into a um, star. I have a star card down here. All right, so you have initiative, so you get the first quest. Uh, your opponent may relocate one empty location. Uh, place a investigation token on those three spots. So, garage. The planetarium. The planetarium. The and the movie, or movie, mm -hmm. or the movie studios. That's the theater, that's movie studios. Um, <clears throat> and then I can relocate. Oh, I was able to relocate one empty location before 
I placed those. So I'm going to relocate because this was empty. I'm going to relocate this mm. up here, which puts it closer to me. Helps me out. So you need to pick up all the investigation tokens, which for you is going to be easy because you have Robin and you can teleport and you can give her, her his moves. So that's probably going to be pretty easy for you. All right. My second quest, place the pizza token on the movies. Um, your opponent places or moves an obstacle. So I don't know if you want to move that or place a new one. But it has to be in an adja adjacent. No, to... you just anywhere. Like here. Yep. Oh, but and then, then if I, I need want to pick to get it up that... and deliver it. You'll have to go through that way. Well, no, you can go up there and you can go there. That's your your trap. So that trap doesn't hurt you. All right. So you get to go first. We have the initiative. It was on four. One and four. So, can, do I, can I put just any? Mm -hmm. Like you want her to move here. So do I get this, the token, the investigation? Yeah, you automatically pick up the the token. And then so. if I'm hungry, can I get the pizza? No, you cannot eat my pizza. <laughs> That's my pizza. It's vegetarian pizza. You wouldn't like it anyway. <laughs> Beast Boy's a vegetarian. All right, and then you did four, so you get to do a ranged attack to Beast Boy, right? So that would be... Don't shoot your enough. boyfriend. One, two... Is that my boyfriend? See? Okay. That's what I said. That's that's Beast Boy and Raven are boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, I thought you were talking about... No, oh, th see. These are all Beast Boy. <laughs> They're all Verde. <laughs> Todo Verde. Um, yeah. And you can't do your special, So right? you good one, one light? Yeah, I, I did. So yeah, I've got eight, uh, eight now. All right, so I'm going to do... It's kind of a waste, but I, but it, it has me, I'll finish my objective doing this. So I'm gonna move here. Um, I can't do a ranged attack, unfortunately, because you're not near me but I can move any other character. So I'm going to move. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna move him here. Then if I want to do this. Yep. Then he's so gonna just move. move. one. Do I get something? Yeah, you, well, no, well, you want to move here because remember ranged. So to shoot him. Oh, so you move there and you do ranged attack for four, which knocks him out. Por qué for four? Four. Oh, see. Sí. You get your first victory point. Ah, but he's winning. All right, uh, and that's all you can do with him. Uh, and you can give up your well if you didn't want to move you could give you could have given your move to raven all right so i'm going to do three here um i'm gonna go here which completes oh yeah you want to discard that other quest all right uh so we are both in that location so i get my first victory point And then uh, I deal one damage to a character in my location, which is my own character. And then you may move this die to the other die to activate his ability, which gives me a flea token. I think. Hmm. My other quest oh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this card which is set one of my dice to six i'm gonna set this dice to a six instead which then allows me to move dang it that's got the trap on it for my pizza i'm gonna have to have her move that trap 
All right, so now I used his ability to move. All right, both yours went, both mine went. All right, here we go again. Wow, I got two ones. Guess I didn't want to um, <laughs> use that so early. All right, so I now have the initiative, which is three with a star. That means Beast Boy does get to transform. That's a trap, so I think I'm going to do my cheetah, because I'm a cheetah. <laughs> like a cheater, a cheetah. Don't be a cheetah. I'm going to be a cheetah. Don't be a cheetah. See, I'm a cheetah. See, cheetah. Um, and then... What do I want to do? Oh, yeah, we got to do our new quest, so I'll get my quest first. Uh, discard all shields and flee from your token, so I lose my flee. Uh, instead of activating your character, place both dice here in the same round. Well, that's going to be really easy for me to do. Because technically, I don't want to move right now. My, my die are basically useless. All right, so draw yours. What's your mission? Your new, your new, your nuevo. Mission nuevo. Mechanical monster. Place a monster token on the... The hideout, the gear, Whatever. the yeah. gears. The gears. Oh. Deal, deal two damage to all characters in it and adjacent. Nobody. So, yeah, nobody knows. All this right. One is so, this, this. you keep them. They, you just keep all the, the missions. So, but they keep did building. We discard the first one. Because you completed it. Oh, so I still. Yeah, you still got to do that one. Right now, you yes, yeah, so you get two more left. Okay, so All right, oh, so I get to go first, so I'm going to place my die here. So your turn. Oh, I still get to move though. So. Oh no! If I because I if I put it here, I don't get to activate my character, so I don't get to move. Okay. I. Yeah, can 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 they both they both are a team, right? So can he still also work for Yeah, they both work on the same quest. Okay, so he moved here. And uh, and because it is right? Yeah, so you get either that or a shield. Shield, please. Gracias. Oh yeah, we well, already had a flea token, so you couldn't take another one. Um Alright. Um and did you add two to your other die? It's like a zero four. Yep. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use my other die here, which gives me my second quest. I had to spin my die over here. That was basically the quest because I a one wasn't going to help me here or here, so it really didn't do me any good because she wouldn't have been able to attack you, and you can't go in the same spot as my big guy. He takes both spots. Mm. But again, you can attack him as if he's a, as if he's in the same square because he's so big. You 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 just did your turn. Yeah, that was my turn. I'm done. <laughs> so you're a raven. When you got to choose which one you think you want to do. I'm gonna do. Oh, remember you can teleport anywhere. But if I want to attack, I have to do this. Yeah, so you'd want to teleport her here, and then you could do the range and attack so, to... I teleport here. Teleport there. I get my... Thing there. What is the other one? Oh, I just put it back over here. It's new. <laughs> you investigated. It, you don't... You're not collecting anything. You're investigating. Uh, and then you're gonna... And then you're gonna smack me. See. Si. You're gonna smack your boyfriend for three? Yeah. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> because he's a cheater. So I lose three. Uh, and what's your star? Move, move. A, move an adjacent character to another location adjacent to them. So basically you could move... This one. Me somewhere else. You could move her somewhere else. Or you can move him to where you are, basically. Move an adjacent character to another... Well, it would be... Then he can move here. Yeah. Because then he can go get the other thingy. Dang. The other thingy. All right, yeah. that's it. All right, so I completed this. All right, time to roll again. Uh, three, six. So 
I still have initiative, which means I get to roll this. Come on, star. Woohoo! Means I can stay in cheetah form. Um, once per turn, flip one of your dice to the opposite side. So I'm going to use her probability manipulation to turn that into a six. So I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to do her psychokinesis, uh, ranged attack for two against Raven. And then I'm going to move Beast Boy. Technically, I could move Beast Boy or I could move that, but this then means I can get this next turn. Where's the house? Oh, the house is way down. No matter what, I've got to move that stupid thing. Or i got to have Beast Boy in Cheetah form still. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, we forgot to get our new quest, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, subtract two from each of your die. How do you subtract two from a one, from a two? Because <laughs> you're down to one. Um, please don't put them in the house. And this was a one, so it'd still be a six. So, because I used my ability. Uh, in the planetarium, use one of your abilities with a die having a value of five or six. So where's the planet? Oh, that's where you are. Okay, so I have to go to the planetarium. What if you get both? You get double? Yes, you get double lives. Well, hang on. Uh, fire one to all characters in its in adjacent location. So we need to give you another bad guy. Unfortunately, we have to remember this is yours, not mine. I wish it, they should have made it white on one side, black on the other. That way, if you had to have two uh, white yeah. ones out or two black ones out. Um, so this is, we just need to remember this is yours. And but then, if I if I do that, it, oh man, you gave me fire. Fuego. If I beat them both, you get one VP per. Yeah. So each time you complete a quest, you get one victory point. So you go up here and beat that one, you get one victory point. You come down here and beat those guys, you get one victory. Point. So. All right. So two turns, no. Um, so this is my trap, it would not do anything yeah. to me. So if she goes here, but remember, she can go anywhere, and that's your last one for that one. She can't, you wouldn't be able to damage me though, but you'd be able to do your traps if you wanted to, or do you want to save your four for Robin? I told your other die, but no, because he has already that. Well, now I was saying if you wanted to save the die to activate the spe his special ability. Oh, yeah, because he already has a shield. But how, I, this is just for free that I do it. That You do that instead of actually moving, but you needed to choose one of your die before you <laughs> did yeah. that. Mm. All right. So your ranged attack doesn't do anything. Yep, you get that. So that gets your victory point. And then turn that one in. Uh, and then you don't activate any of your abilities. You can't do any ranged because nobody's near you. All right, so it is Beast Boy's turn. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do this one. All right, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pick up... That is a trap. He's immune to traps. That's why oh. I switched to... Oh, no, I have to have the special ability to be immune to it. Dang it. And what is what the trap does? That's okay. It, no, it does damage to me equal to what's here. Oh. I didn't move the trap. I moved Beast Boy instead earlier. Because I, I thought I was immune to traps no matter what. And I'm not immune... To traps no matter what all right so uh, all 
All right, so I'm going to do this instead. All right, so I'm going to teleport to any location, which is this one, which is fine. Um, I'm going to take two damage, which is fine. But then I'm going to give up my... I gave up, I'm sorry, I gave up my free move, because I didn't move. Gave up my free move to heal three. And then I took two damage when I went there. But I got my pizza. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Mm. All right. So now it is into the phase. I have in fuego. That means I take two more damage. And we roll again. Whoops. I knocked out me heart. So I don't know what I did with this one. Nada. No. Mm -mm. All right. So I have ocho. You have cuatro. What? I saw a six on mine. No, it was a, it was a one. The camera doesn't lie. All right. So you get the initiative die. <laughs> yeah, you roll it. <laughs> we got to figure out what the damage is in turn. Today. So, and no star. So we... You. <laughs> you shrink. All right. Um, you get first quest. Uh, your opponent traps two. So I'm going to put... You're trying to go up there and you're trying to go down here. So I will trap that. Yeah. Trap that. Let me get my victory point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then what's your quest? Deliver uh, present tokens to those, three lo to those four locations. So one, two, three, four. Um, you're at so, none of those locations. You have to deliver those. But how? Just moving there and yeah, it there, move there or do I have and you to carry it? it? No, you just move there and deliver it. So you just move one of your characters to each of those locations, which you've got to go to two of them for your other quest, so technically. No, no, Raven is... Raven cannot do... Um, low Notch Genius. Add two to each of your die. So this can only go up to a six... This goes up to a five. Your next character in this round loses their free move, so my character can't move. Uh, in the planetarium, use one of your abilities. And then what I, I've already got that one. So I've got, I've got in the planetarium, use it using a five or a six, and I've got in the planetarium using it with a one or two. So, all right, so you get to go first. Hmm. Did you remember to move Robin on his turn? No, because I... No, I didn't oh, yeah, move he, it yeah, because he... I never placed the... Yeah, you could... Well, you did. You placed the die here. I'm so confused with when to do Did this you... Thing. You placed the die first. So you didn't move Robin at all on your no. turn? Oh, okay. Then what did you want Robin to do? We, we have to rewind then. What was your other die? Nothing. My die was four and he was staying here waiting. Okay, what's a four? That's fine. Put that back on what it was. We know it's a four. So which one of these two were you gonna do? I was thinking about it. I could, I cannot get this because. Yeah, but you could do that see. and get the attack. I, so yeah, but, so you would have gone there, and then this was a two. So you would have done two damage to this guy. Sorry, I I didn't realize what you were saying. That that was my bad. Wow. That's my cool pump. He gets more lives. Which means I can't put this trap here. What? He what went happened? from five you... down to three. There's only this. So I can't put a trap there because there's somebody there. So I'll put the trap on your face. I think. Yeah, that works. So now? Mm, no, I'm going to put the trap here. Okay, now it's your turn for this round. So for this round, he's going to attack. Oh, what was that? Oh, see, this one. Discard your shield to deal two damage to an opposing character in any location. Yeah, so... Do this, do this well, there's... As an opposing character? No. It has to be one of my guys. So you can either attack... You can do that at any time, really. Because you have... You've had this for a while. See, that's why I wanted it. it, it. Okay. So yeah, so then dis but... if you discard that, then you do two damage to one of my characters. Two. And then discard two. that card. What card? The one that you just used. All right. 
Now you can activate one of your two characters. So now he's going to keep attacking that thing. Oh, so he's attacking that for two, three. For three. Yep. So that's three. One, two, three. So I knocked him out. And that gets you your VP token for that one. Yes. So you're at tres. Okay. Um, and it's not high enough to get your bonus. Um, oh, you. so wait a minute. You needed to give your free move to Raven then because you didn't move out of that spot. You have to move. That's, that's the part we keep forgetting is you have to move first, which means if you're in a spot where you want to attack, luckily you, you have ways around it because you can just move your other character. So I will get I will, I will get a present to the mm. cinema. Move, move, not teleport. I uh, you're, you're says doing he... ignore her. You're doing this. Sorry, you didn't move him. He oh, was already there. I'm doing your what leadership. He can do yeah. For. So yeah. So you just want to go there. No, no present for there. No present for there. No present for my base. You don't want to bring me a present. No. No. I'm gonna give you a present. No present. Pardon me. All right, so I am going to, I need to use her ability this time because, eh. wonderful Florida humidity, I'm noticing. Oh, I'm not a cheetah anymore. So I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to do three damage to Raven. You cannot do that. Oh, no, you're right. I have to move first. You're right. <laughs> we keep forgetting you have to move first. Which is fine. I will move her here. And then I will still attack Raven. <laughs> Raven is muerte. You don't have a block? No. Um, and then I can either move any character or move any token. So I'm going to move... This token, the key. All right. See, do that now. You basically get to move Robin again. Yeah, because you killed Raven. Because I killed Raven. <laughs> so, and then I. Well, the only thing you can do is this. It, you can add two to your other die, but that doesn't help you because. But move first. Move first. Yeah. And then I cannot, I cannot attack or anything. Well, you could add two to your other die, but if you add two here, I don't know if that would then activate that. And technically that wouldn't do you any good because you can't attack anybody there anyways. So. See, why not? If it is, if it is a uh, melee. Oh, that is me there. Well, technically, yes, you would be changing that die to a five, which means then, yes, I guess you could do two damage to me because you're in that spot with me but that's plus two damage to your melee but you're not doing a melee because you're activating this one well that's a weird situation that's one of those edge cases that probably never was supposed to come up like i don't think we were ever supposed to have a time where you were turning your own die we'll we'll say that well, yeah we'll say that yeah you you did two damage to me i guess There we go. All right. And then I got Beast Boy with his pizza. pizza, pizza. Eat your pizza. Um, Keto pizza. Keto pizza. This gives me a move and a flea token. And this damages a character in my location. There's nobody in my location. So I guess we'll do this. Oops, I forgot to move first. Move first, then activate abilities. That's, that's, to be honest, that's the confusing part of the game. Because you're placing your die here and you're thinking, I'm going to activate this. You don't think, place my die, move, then activate this. I feel like that order of operation is weird. I feel so we move for example. Yeah, but but if you don't, you're placing the die to say this is the character I'm activating. That's the whole point of placing mm -hmm. the die. It's just it's a weird, yeah. it's weird to get my head around it. So, um, yeah. So, 
that's it for me. And then you did both of yours. All right. So now it is roll the dice time. How can I read She recovers that? after we go through her steps. I have five. You have seven. I have initiative. And it's tres again. And now it is reveal a card time. Uh, you don't count the star or the mayhem die until the mission is completed. Well, thanks. I don't like that at all. Uh, when you enter the cinema, which I am, roll the mayhem. Oh, when you enter, but I'm already there. Roll the mayhem die. Uh, get a star in the mayhem die. Oh, I have to get a star at the theater. <laughs> it's kind of some thematic, cinematic. I was going to say thematic. Uh, your opponent may swap two empty locations. All right. So may, you, but you may not. <laughs> so you are trying to deliver presents to sí. the movie theater, to the house. It's para los niños. <laughs> it's para los niños. <laughs> So I'm going to move. The problem, is, the problem is the three that I need to move are the three that I'm standing on. <laughs> I, yeah, there's no reason for me to move them. They're, they're, they're opposite sides. And me moving them isn't going to help you. And it's not going to help me. Like if I moved this one. I would move it further away from him, which doesn't do me any good. And if I move this one, or would I move it to hurt you? Because see, right now it's got this block going on. No, I think I'm leaving more there. So you have to KO opposing character. So this one is technically worth two victory points. If you can knock out... Yeah, I've only got two hit points. If you can knock out Beast Boy, you win. Porque dos if it says uno. Because you get one for knocking me out still. You get one for completing the mission, plus one for that bush. All right, so now you get to bring Raven back. And he, she has how many lives, 10? She gets her full 10, yep. And you probably want to put her uh, there, because that's the only space you can. And she's basically going to be able to kill me next time. That's my turn first. Don't be rotating those dice, I saw that. No, senor, I'm not rotating. <laughs> I'm not the cheetah. You are the cheetah. No, I'm not the cheetah right now. The <laughs> cheetah is a key. All right, so I'm going to go here, uh, which allows me to go. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, I moved the trap. I'm good. All right, so I delivered the pizza. So I get me victory point for delivering the pizza. And then deal one damage. Nobody's there. Um, you may move this die to the other one and activate it, which I'm going to do. Oh, no, I'm not going to do Oh, I, oh yes, I'm going to do I'm going to go there. No, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be able to kill me. Oh, no, I have the flea, the flea token. So I can move away from wherever you moved. Oh, no, I can only move one, one direction. I don't want to go there because that'll kill me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to move. I'm staying there. That doesn't matter because when I flee, when I flee... Oh, no, I can flee into the one you're in. No, I'm not going to move my die. Okay, we're good. I think I got this. I think you're not killing me right now. <laughs> I want to kill you. Mm -hmm. well, Ra Ravens, who's got to kill me with her range telekinesis. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, 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 ja. So if I know because... So if I know because... That would be range. Move first. Well, she teleports, yeah. So she teleports or moves. But she teleports anywhere. Anywhere or just move, which technically both serve okay. your purpose. Okay, and then she puts some present in it. So she delivered the present. And now, where, what were you having her do? Then she's going to kill you. No, because I'm going to flee. No, I'm don't flee, flee on I'm me. Flee into your spot. Okay, so you, you I can't can't keep... no. <laughs> I'm I'm fleeing towards you. It's the weirdest flea ever. It's cause it's cause it's cause I'm trying to come and give you a kiss. I'm like, I'm fleeing towards you. I'm gonna give you a kiss. She's like, no, by the way. No. 
Oh, so I kind of... Hang on, let me double check. I think Flea, Flea doesn't specifically say I can't move towards you. It just says I moved to an adjacent location. All right, where's Flea? Uh, pull, heal, stun, push. Oh, there. The character takes a token, plays a desert. Characters only want to die. Act with you and do that. Okay. Where's the talk about flee? There's pull. Move. Somewhere it talks about the flee tokens. There we go. If a character has a flee token, they may discard it to an, to move to an adjacent location as soon as another character, teammate, or... Oh, you can do it when your teammate moves, too. Never knew that. Uh, each character going to want... Yeah, the flee character going to be using the character's turn. As soon as another character moves... Yeah, another character moves, teammate or opponent. Oh, uh, but can only be used on another character. Yeah, on another character's turn. So basically, as soon as you moved, I use my flea token to go mm. where you moved to. So it's correcto. So it's correcto. And ranged has to be an adjacent square. You at least got to make your delivery. How do I heal? I got to heal Beast Boy, though. <laughs> All right. Um, so it is Chica's turn. Hmm. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to move here because that's safe for me. And then I'm going to use the two to do a ranged attack of three to Robin. So Robin loses three hit points. No, well, that's not right. Exchange. Exchange. You want some change for that? So those back. And then that completed this quest in the... Planetarium, use one of your abilities with the die having a one or two. It had a two. Gracias. So, necesito uno más. Uno más. Uno más. Uno más. Uno más. Para mí. <laughs> okay, Robin's turn. Can Rob? I don't think Robin Robin can't do enough damage to her. She's she's at eight. She has eight hit points. Up to, to another die, no. So he has to do this. Mm -hmm. So he's move, move. That's gonna get you hurt. He doesn't uh, deliver present anymore. Here, here. here. But Let's he do. cannot fly. Well, you can instead of using his move, you could use hers. But then your attack doesn't do anything. Let me give this. If you want to damage me, you're you gonna have to take damage yourself. So it's the option of coming in and taking three damage to damage me by three. Okay. Or doing something else. I damage you. I don't get presents there. So you take three damage, I take three damage. Okay, no presents in the planetarium. No presents in planetarium. Porque no, the stars, the aliens no necesita. Okie dokie. That's it. That's it. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Okie dokie. No, you're a little too happy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Six and uno, tres y cuatro. All right. So I have you seven. Have you have seven. I know you have a Both of us have seven. Do you want to do, do the flip? Sí. No, I mean, you want to oh. do it. It's ah. pointing at the camera. No, it's Blanco. <laughs> so you get, you get, you get it. Remember, you also have this down here. You can still beat them to get one. Um, place the token in the movie theater. What? What? I'm going to have to use mine. Where is the movie theater? Is that where we're playing? Oh, we're both in the movie theater. All right, with five hit points. Uh, stun all characters in its and adjacent location. Oh, dang it. So I get stunned. We all get stunned. And if we get stunned? Everybody's stunned. It's the Oprah Winfrey of stunning right now. You get a stun. You get a stun. You get a stun. Everybody gets a stun. And then what happens when we get stunned? You can either move or ability, not both. Yeah. Um, which is no bueno, better me. Because you can, sh she can shoot me. All right. Uh, your opponent places or moves an, obsta an obstacle and trap two. So you can move or place an obstacle, plus you get to place two more traps. 
Um, oh. I moved into there. But I, oh, I did that on a flea, so that doesn't count as a move. Okay, so I didn't get to do that. Oh, did, and then you get to roll this too. We're still resolving this part. Though. Okay, so I am, I'm going to place some obstacles. Oops, hang on. One moment. Now, before we before we drew these, we were supposed to roll that. So roll that real quick. Because that might it might change things. So it is a three with a star. However, I still have this quest that means I don't count the stars. So actually, never mind. The reason I was saying is if it was a star, I would get big and push you out of the square. Mm. But so I, I could kill but you. stars don't count for me right now. Yeah, which means technically you'd be able to kill me then. You're so nice. <laughs> All right, so where do you want to put your traps? Uh, oh, two traps or oh, You put two them. traps and an obstacle. So I would put one here. See? Okay. And I would put one... I don't know what she has to I'm do. trying to go to the places that I already am. So basically, I have to leave and then come back. Or, well, technically, no, I don't need to. Be, no, you can't put it where we where it's I am. Empty. Yeah, it's gotta be empty. It's gotta be empty. Um, technically, because we are stuck with not being able to do our, um, because we're stunned, I can just do my ability and not move. Hmm. All right, so two turns, no. So if you you attack, you can attack her. Uh, you, you can, can either move her. or you can attack her for three. Yeah. He can attack because it's melee. He can. He can because it's melee. Yeah, he would attack her for three. All right, well, you, and you're not going to move because you're stunned, so that removes your stun token. And then you attack me for three, so I'm down to two. All right. And then I'm going to do... Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what I do, because I'm going to win the game. So I'm going to put this here, which is place or move an obstacle. Did you ever place this obstacle? No, you didn't. There. I didn't because there, I you... put the traps. No, it was you're supposed to do both. No, it says or. And trap two. Aww. That's what this is the same one I had at the very beginning of the game. So that's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna do uh six here, move or place an obstacle, move, uh, which means I activated my ability with a six or higher. Sackable no mas. I needed to activate an ability in the planetarium with a five or a six. And because I was stunned, the stun helped me. Because if I didn't have the stun, I would have had to leave and then come to back. Move and then come back. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so the stun actually so helped me. Lucky. So lucky. So lucky, lucky, lucky. I got the medal. Gold medal. Better extra life. So there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give our first impressions of this particular version of me. And I keep whacking the the microphone definitely need to do something about that Boink. there we go that's it's it's quick just switch over oh sad Audrey. there you go make you feel better <laughs> all right so we are going to go over our first impressions most of these are going to be pretty much the same as i think yesterday's with the difference of the mechanics whether we think it's more difficult theme is going to be probably different for Audrey. uh so the first thing is the components um, there's really no difference in the components. Uh, it's the same thing, the cards, stuff like that. One thing I did notice today that I didn't notice yesterday, of course, is, you know, whenever they use these thinner card stock, they do have a tendency to want to curl. Uh, we didn't have, we had that a little bit when we were up north, but now down here where it's a little bit more humid, uh, it, you can notice it a little bit more. Um, also yesterday I was mentioning how it'd be nice if the colors on the rings were the color of the game. I was like, well, no, that wouldn't work because of the mayhem die. Well, no, we have, there's an actual blue mayhem die and a red mayhem die. Oh, they could have done it, but they didn't. Uh, so it's just the black and the white, which is, which is fine. I don't, I don't mind that. Um, the art's good. Um, it's, 
I don't know if this is, I think this is new art that was drawn for this. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a cartoon. So you don't know if it is or isn't. A lot of people don't like screen captures. Uh, the minis are still just as great. He's, this is a big old boy. <laughs> like, like literally, he is so big. I could like stick him on a shelf and you would be able to like, like he'd still be like. He would look pretty there. Fully visible. Um, oh, that's that, that's that bad shoulder. Um, yeah, I like the components. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I have anything good or bad besides what different, we were talking about. Different yeah. from yesterday's. Um, the tiles are the same. Something I didn't know yesterday and when I was reading the instructions, the back of the tiles are actually useful. I thought it was just randomly designed that way. Uh, but this is if you do the uh, three-player free-for-all mode, because in the free-for-all mode, like I mentioned with Taz, and this one, it's Cyborg, and Cyborg goes crazy, and everybody's trying to beat up on Cyborg. Um, so this is what you use instead, because it just counts as spaces that people can be on. All right, uh, next is the difficulty. What did you think of the difficulty of this one compared to yesterday's? I mean, there is this, which makes it uh, makes it a little bit more complex. More complex, but not extremely difficult, I think. Yeah, because on the other ones, the, the missions, which is basically what these cards are, was going to that spot and completing the mission that was on that spot. This one, they changed it up a little bit by making the missions, the cards instead, and and. They said you can't mix the two games. I'm I'm really debating to do this. And you guys let us know down in the comments if you'd like to see this train wreck. Instead of us playing two games on Saturday, I want to see if we just combine the two games. The map would be a lot bigger. That'd be and the only problem. Have four characters. The only problem is that the map would be a lot bigger, which means that it would be we wouldn't be attacking each other as much. So I... <laughs> yeah, because there is no Miley. I mean, you could keep the map the same size by randomly drawing. Let's see, what do you got? One, two, three, four, six. So there's six tiles in each. So it'd be like randomly draw three of each and then make sure that the quests here match the tiles that we chose. So like, okay, we don't, we like to do this one, you need four and that wouldn't happen. So this one we would take out, but it's okay. We, we're, we've got the house, we can keep that one. We got this and we keep that one. We got the car park, we can keep that. You know what I mean? I, it could be done. Um, so if you guys want to see that kind of mashup where we're actually using three from one, three from the other, we have to use this mayhem deck plus we have the quick. I think it could work um, with very little house ruling. I don't I don't think there really need to be any house rules. Uh, let us know in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's, it is a little bit more to remember to keep up with, I think. Uh, I was remembering to draw these and then remembering that that's what you were trying to, to do. Um, abilities, did you find the abilities were? The abilities, my abilities were nice. Well, but I more guess. difficult. Oh, more difficult? Like to understand. Like it was kind of weird with, with, with his, like hers was easy. He just basically can move her anywhere. Yeah. But his, you forget that you can allow. Him, her, give her. Yeah. Yeah, that is. That Beast Boy shape shifting was pretty simple, right? It's, if there was a star, I get to shape shift. So his was easy, uh, and then hers was pretty easy, just changing the die to the opposite side. I think the rest of mine were normal. Now we did run into the two edge cases where you had to turn your own die. So Raven knocked out. She had to turn her own die, and it's like, well, does she get to activate now the special ability? in that other box. I don't know. Uh, they Somebody may clarify that in the FAQ. We probably did it wrong, but we went with it. Uh, similarly, with your die, if it says reduce your die by two or add two to your die, and you're already at the highest or lowest, mm -hmm. do you go back around to the one? Or are you supposed to, zero? you know, <laughs> there is no zero. Um, yeah, is it like, okay, well you had a two, reduce it by two, now you're at zero, so you don't even get to place that die? Like I don't, I don't, I don't think the rules mentioned um, what are that. These? So the batteries are, there are certain characters that can only activate their ability once per game or once per round. So that basically tells you to do that. Uh, defeat, investigate, go somewhere. I'm trying to see if it actually mentioned anything about increasing and decreasing die. Roll the die. Recovery, melee range, pulling, pushing, 
finishing your turn. Yeah, it doesn't mention that. Like, I, I don't know how often I have it because it talks about ignore, negative, immune, teammate, characters. Like, it, it defines those words, but it doesn't define anywhere if the go card says to reduce the dice what you do. Because the example they give um, talks about what you're supposed to do to complete the mission, but not what the top part says to do. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, that that's kind of a good question is, can you reduce the die below zero? Um, it's just, again, a little different complexity because of these, these go cards. Um, Oh, I said mechanics, which I guess we were kind of talking. I, I skipped mechanics and went right to difficulty, but kind of we were talking about mechanics and the difficulty. The mechanics difference are these cards um, versus going around doing the quests. Mm -hmm. um, I like these. I think it's more focused. It gives you something to focus on. Yeah. Whereas the ones that are around you, we were just kind of moving around to the location and maybe picking it up if we could and if we couldn't. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we had a lot more knockouts in the Looney Tunes. I think in the Looney Tunes yes. game, we were because we were we were killing each other because we didn't have much else to do. Um, so yeah, so I think mechanics, it is nice that it's different um than the other one. Fun it too. Same. Very fun. Very fun it too. Um so I I did look it up in the four players the same. So you play as teams, and the three player, like I said, is the same. Instead of going up against Taz, you're going up against Cyborg. I can't say that those modes would be any more fun. The three player might be because it's a different it's a different version of the game. You're playing in a triangle and Cyborg or Taz starts in the middle and you can actually push him around and he does damage to everybody else. Uh -huh. So and then once you get knocked out, you're out of the game. So it'd be like a very quick. It's in my opinion, it's a totally different game. It's a very quick dice rolling punch kick type game at that point. It's not you have no quest, you have nothing yeah. like that. It's kind of like a battle royale. I don't think I'd like that type of game to begin with. So that was like Battle Bears, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't didn't care for that much. Um, last is the theme. What did you think of the theme? Well, I don't know these Titans very well. So but, Titans. but with what you were saying, I think everything relates to the character, to the, characters. the abilities and what yeah. Because Jinx and Raven are both magic people, so they have the teleport and the move things around. I mean, Robin's they, the leader. yeah, their abilities are related to what they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, Robin's the leader, so of course he has a lot of abilities that help your other character. Mm -hmm. So add two that helps your other character. Yeah, it kind of almost makes you have to play Robin first. If well, I guess it depends how low your other die is, right? Yeah. Play Robin first, so you can increase that. You were playing Raven. But I first don't know what I did. Yeah, I never most of did. The time. I think I never did that. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it is it is thematic. They did do the same kind of little tie-ins that they did with the Looney Tunes, where they added little little uh, nods to the original games, or not to the original games, but to the to the IPs themselves. Um, so definitely is thematic. I watched Teen Titan Goes, but it's been a long time. Um, the, Teen Titans Go is the sillier version. There was a actual Teen Titans cartoon. And then they came out with Teen Titans Go, which was like little 15 minute skit type cartoons mm -hmm. instead of a more serious Teen Titans that they had. Um, I like both, both of them fine. Um, I'll, I'll watch any cartoon. <laughs> um, but there we go, that is Teen Titans Go. So again, if you want to watch us play Teen Titans Go versus Looney Tunes, what do they need to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Activate notifications. notifications. And hit the reminder button over on the pre screen, sub, uh, the sub scheduled stream thing. See, I was trying to be like coy when I was doing that, and I stumbled over my own words. It didn't even come out good. She wanted me to say, oh, that YouTube <laughs> stuff. But until next time, guys. Adios. Peace.